went to a concert. I got a poncho. Is it cool? Do you like it? Is it cool? Anyway. Uh, sorry, we'll get to work. Two. Russian Active Measures Social Media Campaign. The first form of Russian election influence came principally from the Internet Research Agency, LLC, a Russian organization funded by Yevgeny Viktorovich Brigozin and companies he controlled, including Concord Management and Consulting LLC and Concord Catering, collectively Concord. The IRA conducted social media operations targeted at large U.S. audiences with the goal of sowing discord in the U.S. political system. These operations constituted active measures oh. Holy cow, that's in Russian. Uh, a term that typically refers to operations conducted by Russian security services aimed at influencing the course of international affairs. Uh, remember when I said I could control the whole thing? <laughs> I was really good at that. Remember that? Here we go. Okay. Now, now we're going to get good at this again. Uh, the IRA and its employees began operations targeting the United States as early as 2014. Using fictitious U.S. personas, IRA employees operated social media accounts and group pages designed to attract U.S. audiences. These groups and accounts to address divisive U.S. political and social issues falsely claimed to be controlled by U.S. activists. Over time, these social media accounts became a means to reach large U.S. audiences. IRA employees traveled to the United States in mid-2014 on an intelligence gathering mission to obtain information and photographs for use in their social media posts. IRA employees posted derogatory information about a number of candidates in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. By early to mid-2016, IRA operations included supporting the Trump campaign and disparaging candidate Hillary Clinton. The IRA made various expenditures to carry out these activities, including buying political advertisements on social media in the names of U.S. persons and entities. Some IRA employees posing as U.S. persons without revealing their Russian association communicated electronically with individuals associated with the Trump campaign and other political activists to seek to coordinate political activities, including the staging of political rallies. The investigation did not identify evidence that any U.S. person knowingly or intentionally coordinated with the IRA's interference operation. Uh... Uh, <laughs> something went wrong. <laughs> Don't stop it. <laughs> something went wrong. We'll, we'll fix it in, in post. Uh, uh, hang on. <laughs> we got a pretty picture of what we were supposed to get. Uh, here we go. How's that? That's better. Okay. And now we got a bunch of these footnotes. Uh, we don't do footnotes. By the end of the 2016 U.S. election, the IRA had the ability to reach millions of U.S. persons through their social media accounts. Multiple IRA-controlled Facebook groups and and well, now we got again. That, that's a lot of footnotes. There's even blacked out parts in the footnotes over here. Well, it's really black. That's that's harm. That's harmfully black. Well, well I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about the concert. It's great. 
bunch of uh, dead guys. Well, they weren't dead. Dead. They were almost dead. But they were playing a bunch of music and stuff. But they were always like almost dead. But this time, from old age. Uh, I got this nice poncho. Do you like my poncho? Do you? It's nice. Anything? I don't know. I, I wanted some tie dye. Uh, Instagram accounts had hundreds of thousands of U.S. participants. IRA controlled Twitter accounts separately had tens of thousands of followers, including multiple U.S. political figures who retweeted IRA created content. In November 2017, a Facebook representative testified that Facebook had identified 470 IRA controlled Facebook accounts that collectively made 80,000 posts between January 2015 and August 2017. Facebook estimated the IRA reached as many as 126 million persons through its Facebook accounts. Oh, that's a big. That's 100. In January 2018, Twitter announced that it identified 3,814 IRA-controlled Twitter accounts and notified approximately 1.4 million people Twitter believed may have been in contact with IRA-controlled accounts. Uh, I'm getting some more of that black stuff. That's like almost psychedelic black there the organization quickly grew and that's all you want to tell us wow I, I must be a, a heck of an org chart well what we got the growth the growth of the organization also led to a more detailed organizational structure. Uh, okay. And then we got more footnotes. Uh, you know, it's a good thing I'm in a mellow mood. Because I can take this. I can, I can digest 126 million people seeing this stuff. But I'm not going to read the footnote. Social media, no, no. Don't read the footnotes. The footnotes are dangerous. Footnotes are where all the facts are. Can't read the footnotes. Don't read them. Twitter update. Oh, that's that's part of the footnote. Okay. Do you, do you like my poncho? Come on, dude. Come on. Somebody, one of you guys got to like my poncho. Come on. No? I can take it back. She's, I think she's still there. They don't leave for a couple days after the show. You know, they got to mellow out and stuff. Everything was cool. I mean, until they gave me the Kool Aid. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I feel a little funny. But we still got harm to ongoing matter. It, this is kind of easy money here. I have to read nothing. You know, it's in my contract, I don't read the footnotes. What are you going to do? You know, they're not even paying a scale for this. I told you that. And the health insurance? Terrible. Terrible. But, feel good. Uh, waiting. Waiting. Maybe we'll get something soon. Waiting. Now I see why this thing takes 13 hours to read. Uh, 
maybe at the end. <laughs> Could that be all? Oh no, 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 look, there's more. Harm to ongoing matter. That's a song. Harm to ongoing matter. It harms your ongoing Deep in the black is an ongoing and Oh. Two individuals headed the IRA's management. Its general director, Mikhail Boyslov, and its executive director, Mikhail Birchnik. On to ongoing matter. On to ongoing matter. As early as the spring of 2014, the IRA began to hide its funding and activities. On to ongoing The IRA's U.S. operations are part of a larger set of interlocking operations known as Project Lock on going matter on to ongoing matter on to ongoing matter on to ongoing matter. Funding and oversight from Concord and Pergusin. Pergusin. Pergusin? Pergusin. Let's go with Pergusin. At least until February 2018, Yevgeny Mitrovich Pergusin and two Concord companies funded the IRA. Pergusin is a wealthy Russian businessman who served as the head of Concord. Uh... Uh, those are armed to ongoing matter footnotes in Russian. I'm oh, I'm going matter fusion footnote, lots of many many footnotes. But we do know about Yevgeny Prokofievich Prigozhin and two conquered companies funded the IRA, and that Prigozhin is a wealthy Russian businessman who has served at the head of Concord. What a guy. Uh, we're just blazing through this with uh, more harm to ongoing matter. Is that matter as in, you know, physics, like matter, MC squared, and all that good stuff? Anybody know? Can we do a fact check on that? <laughs> oh, I, can somebody, speaking of fact checks, I don't mean to bring this up while we're waiting for this to come along. Can you see about my check? The advanced check? Call call Bob. Somebody call Bob about my check. I haven't, you know, it's all cool and stuff, but I haven't seen the check. And this is, you know, it's been a lot of work. So, you know, I kind of like, I kind of like to get paid. So if somebody could like, Maybe you know is it, the accountant is his name Bob on the on on the production? Does anybody know anybody? Because on to ongoing matter. Pergozin was sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury Department in December 2016. On to ongoing matter. On to ongoing matter. 
Numerous media sources have reported on Prigozhin's ties to Putin, and the two have appeared together in public photographs. Um, um, um. Must be some interesting photographs. I wonder if they got a goat in them. Oh, I'm not. No, I. I shouldn't say that. I, I didn't say that. I'm to ongoing matter. Harm to ongoing matter. 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 It's matter. Matter. I'm going matter. I'm going matter. It's matter. It's matter. Matter. Harm. Matter. Harm. Matter. Harm. Matter harm, harm, matter, matter. Harm. 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 Matter. Harm. 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 Welcome to a most exciting adventure of Harm to ongoing matter. Footnotes? Now we got footnotes? Harm to ongoing matter footnote. Wow. This has been an interesting chapter, don't you think? I, 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 I'm left speechless, which is unusual for me. But glad to see that you know we have the report and we get all the facts out once and for all. People can see exactly what's going on. You can tell by what's behind me here that the uh, that the truth has come out finally. <laughs> I wish to report harm to ongoing matter. 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 Harm Ongoing matter. Harm. The 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 ongoing matter.
IRA employees were aware that Prozosian was involved in the IRA's U.S. operations. In May 2016, IRA employees claiming to be U.S. social activists and administrators of Facebook groups recruited U.S. persons to hold signs, including one in front of the White House that read, Happy 55th Birthday, Dear Boss, as an homage to Prigozhin, whose 55th birthday was on June 1st, 2016. The IRA ramps up U.S. operations as early as 2014. The US, IRA's U.S. operations sought to influence public opinion through online media and forums. By the spring of 2014, the IRA began to consolidate U.S. operations within a single general department known internally as the Translator Department. IRA subdivided the Translator Department into different responsibilities ranging from operations and different social media platforms. graphics and IT. Told me to cool it with the harm to ongoing matter thing. Because there was too much harm to ongoing matters. IRA employees also traveled to the United States on intelligence gathering missions. In June 2014, four IRA employees applied to the U.S. Department of State to enter the United States while lying about the purpose of their trip and claiming to be four friends who'd met at a party. Ultimately, two IRA employees, Anna Bogacheva and Alexandra Krilova, received visas and entered the United States on June 4, 2014. Prior to traveling, Krilova and Budakreva completed itineraries and instructions. That was itineraries and instructions. And then, well, you know. You know. U.S. operations through IRA controlled social media accounts. Dozens of IRA employees were responsible for operating accounts and personas on different U.S. social media platforms. The IRA refers to employees assigned to operate the social media accounts as specialists. Starting as early as 2014, the IRA's U.S. operations included social media specialists focusing on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. The IRA later, later added specialists who operated on Tumblr and Instagram accounts. Initially, I, the IRA created social media accounts that pretended to be the personal accounts of U.S. persons. 
By early 2015, the IRA began to create larger social media groups or public social media pages that claimed falsely to be affiliated with U.S. political and grassroots organizations. In certain cases, the IRA created accounts that mimicked real U.S. organizations. For example, one IRA-controlled Twitter account, at 10 underscore GOP, purported to be connected to the Tennessee Republican Party. More commonly, the IRA created accounts in the names of fictitious U.S. organizations and grassroots groups and used these accounts to pose as anti-immigration groups, Tea Party activists, Black Lives Matter protesters, and other U.S. social and political activists. The IRA closely monitored the activity of its social media accounts. Which I guess I would too. By February 2016, internal IRA documents referred to support for the Trump campaign in opposition to candidate Clinton. For example, directions to IRA operators, main idea, use any opportunity to criticize Hillary Clinton and rest except Sanders and Trump. We support them. The focus on the U.S. presidential campaign continued through 2016. In 2016, internal reviewing IRA-controlled Facebook group secured borders. The author criticized the lower number of posts dedicated to criticizing Hillary Clinton and reminded the Facebook specialist it is imperative to intensify criticizing Hillary Clinton. IRA employees also acknowledged that their work focused on influencing the U.S. presidential election. U.S. operations through Facebook. Many IRA operations use Facebook accounts created and operated by its specialists. IRA Facebook groups active during the 2016 campaign covered a wide range of political issues and included purported conservative purported conservative groups 
with names such as Being Patriotic, Stop All Immigrants, Secured Borders, and Tea Party News, purported black social justice groups, Black Matters, Black act, Blacktivists, and Don't Shoot Us, LGBTQ groups, uh, LGBT uni United and Religious Groups, United Muslims of America. Throughout 2016, IRA accounts published an increasing number of materials supporting the Trump campaign and opposing the Clinton campaign. For example, on May 31st, 2016, the operational account Matt Skeber began to privately message dozens of pro-Trump Facebook groups asking to help plan a pro-Trump rally near Trump Tower. To reach larger U.S. audiences, the IRA purchased advertisements from Facebook that prompted the IRA groups on the news feeds of U.S. audience numbers. Oh, excuse me. Advertisements from Facebook that promoted the IRA groups on the news feeds of U.S. audience members. According to Facebook, the IRA purchased over 3,500 advertisements and the expenditures totaled approximately $100,000. During the U.S. presidential campaign, many IRA purchased advertisements explicitly supported or opposed a presidential candidate or promoted U.S. rallies organized by the IRA, discussed below. As early as March 2016, the IRA purchased advertisements that overtly opposed the Clinton campaign. For example, on March 18, 2016, the IRA purchased an advertisement depicting candidate Clinton and a caption that read in part, if one day God lets this liar in the White House as president, that day would be a real national tragedy. Similarly, on April 6, 2016, the IRA purchased advertisements for its account Black Matters calling for a flash mob of U.S. persons to take a photo with pound Hillary Clinton for prison 2016 or no Hillary 2016. IRA purchased advertisements featuring Clinton were with very few exceptions negative. IRA purchased advertisements referencing candidate Trump, Trump largely supported this campaign. The first known IRA advertisement explicitly endorsing the Trump campaign was purchased on April 9, 2016. The IRA bought an advertisement for its Instagram account, Tea Party News, asking U.S. persons to help them make a patriotic team of young Trump supporters by uploading photos with the hashtag pound kids for Trump. In subsequent months, the IRA purchased dozens of advertisements supporting the Trump campaign, predominantly through the Facebook groups Being Patriotic, Stop All Invaders, and Secured Borders. That's a lot of support. Let's see if we can do this a little bit quicker. Don't have all day, you know. Well, maybe you do have all day. I don't have all day. I'm a busy puppet. I got stuff to do. I got a date. Can I tell you about that? Oh, never mind. It's going back. Collectively, the IRA...